in the thousands who are joining us every day. Sulevich, the Austrian ace, put down number six seed, James Wade, set down. Six straight legs he won. Dangerous against another dangerous opponent. Sam and Willock dropped only one leg in a straight sets victory over Andrew Gilding. Let's get our commentators in place. Wayne Marlin, Nigel Pearson, Nigel. Hi, Dave. Yes, and looking forward to this one. Too close to call in many people's eyes. Sulevich with that sensational comeback victory in round one here in Dublin. It really was something special against world number six James Wade, a twice Grand Prix champion. Wadey, of course. Sulevich put him out with a fantastic comeback. 13 data, 1 1 4 finish, 14 dart leg to level it. And as for the last set, well, it was something special. This fella dropped just the one leg then against Gilding, and he's been in fine form, the former European champion. In the floor tournaments, particularly, Whitlock has got a good run of form behind him. Good matchup, looking forward to it. Tough one to call, Wayne Mardle. Yeah, should be a cracking game. Both good double hitters, normally. We'll see plenty of double 14s from Mentor Sulevich. He, he seems to have a bit of an infatuation with it. You see him go for combinations that you don't normally see from other professional dart players. Doesn't make it wrong. But Simon, as you quite rightly said, has been on a, a better vein of form because the last couple of years have been horrible for him. He was always one of those that was a, a danger in any tournament. Drifted down to number 11 in the rankings. Was as high as number four. So, yes. We're uh, in for a good one, I think. Former world finalist Simon well, Whitlock. Sonny Vich, though, you say that, you know, that double 14 is something that is it's almost an infatuation, but in this particular tournament, when it's double start, um, it's not a bad thing. That double 14 has worked a treat for him, Mentor Sullivich. Uh, Pro Tour Order of Merit qualifier for this World Grand Prix. His first appearance was in the first round here at the City West. 78. And what a story it's been. He's off to a decent start here as well. Yeah, I think we can kind of stop referring to Mensur as something 14. of a menace. and It's just a fantastic dart player. The players have now got used to his unorthodox style what you can do you can watch an opponent and you get drawn into thinking how on earth is well, how right on earth are the darts getting it. from A to B Simon Whitlock then well, right fantastic CV crowd loving it here yeah when you look at Sulevich the way he throws reminds you of a basketball player who who tries to throw it over the hoop and in. Not straight at the hoop, but over the hoop and in. Is that a strange comparison? You, you get what I'm saying? I, I get what you're 47. saying. Is that a strange comparison? Yes. <laughs> no, he's not quite direct, is he? That's my point. Yeah. 60. That was unlucky from Simon Whitlock there. First start was good, just could not find the, the 60 bed. Direct or not, in for a great chance here of double 14, he's off and running. Mensa well, Simon. the early signs are promising Second for Mensa Sullivich here. Like I was saying about the strange combinations you might see. When was the last time you saw a professional want 48? One hundred and twenty double fourteen. Good start from Simon. You never feel entirely at ease until you've won your first leg. Bear in mind, he was a set down and 1 0 down in the second set against James Wade. Mentor Sulevich really was quite some comeback from him. Now, this is nice from Simon Whitlock. He's realigning himself. Plenty of room, hits it as well. First 180 of the game goes to Simon Whitlock. Yeah, for as good as James Wade was against Mensur in the first four legs. 
That's how good Mensur was in the latter part of, of that match. Incredible it was. James Wade must have been thinking, what on earth is going on? And what else is going on with those, Simon? Dear oh Lord. Look at this for accuracy. The Austrian Mensa Solivic from Vienna, 43 years of age. And uh, Whitlock looking to set himself up. That's a 20, so is that enough for him as Solivic now looks for a big visit to just put him under a little bit of pressure here now. Yeah, just referring to his first round game again against James Wade. The starting stats Sixth. and finishing stats Sunday were incredible. 55% to start on the doubles and 70% on the finishing. That's why he crossed the line. Really is amazing. Double eight now. 88. Good second dart. And he's going to be back as well, Whitlock. Solivich not at a finish. But a big score would put the pressure on Whitlock. Here he goes. Well, that is right. magnificent. 71. Absolutely magnificent from Solivich. And now Whitlock has to take this out. Double for the target. Yes, yes brilliant. That's pressure, Solivich. and that's the way to handle it. Third yeah, good for the confidence the that. Because he, he took quite a long time to approach the hockey, so he was settling himself and possibly making a meal of it, but Getting it done first start eases One all that tension. He's meant to, it's double 14 yet again. Makes it look easy, doesn't he? Apparently it is for him. <laughs> and apparently this is easy for One Simon. Good start to the game. We want one of those as well. Three in the Grand Prix so far in its history. This is nice again. Very nice indeed. Well, a good well, 140. Stands very tall at the hockey, Simon. Boarding well, on 64, well, I think. 40. And when you get an opponent like that that stands upright, they can be quite intimidating. Minter is just as tall, but leans real far forward. Projects himself forward with his trailing foot, lifts it off the ground and leans. Not the best style to emulate, but nice well, effective for him, isn't it? It's not out of a coaching manual, is it? It's fair to say. Effective for Mensa, though. That's all that matters. 37. Mensa, you require 153. Well, this first set is everything that we expected. Close to call. Down for treble 19 now for Solivic. And staying down to set himself up, can't find the treble. Chance of Whitlock here to break the throw. Would normally start treble 16. Now treble 16 still. Treble 16. Yes! 80. <laughs> he got there in the end. But Mensa, you feel, will have... Mensa, you require 90. Uh, the balls I at least should have anyway. Twenty for ball. Or treble 20 would leave double five now. Needs the ball. 70. Double 12 for Whitlock, here we go, break Simon, and throw. Simon, Simon's hit this many a time on the end of a 1-4-1 one, one combination for a 9 as well. Seen a few of those on tour. He's moving over so he can come in off the barrel here. 12 score. Pulled it. And so you require 25. Solivich takes a sip of water and prepares to pounce this has been the Simon Whitlock's problem why he's not crossed the line on tour for the last few years composure he had a chance there to break and then th possibly throw for the set when he needed to calm himself down he couldn't he's gonna have to overcome all kinds of barriers Simon you feel 
That is a good hold in the end. Well, he's trying to G himself up, Minson. You're playing all right, man. You're averaging 90. Double start. Not away. 30. Trouble, uh, double 15 works in the end. Now, will double 14 work again for Solivic? Middle of the bed. Four on the bounce. Oh, brilliant, isn't he? 100 and eight. A mad, mad scientist. He, he, he's got it all sus, doesn't he? Nice from Whitlock. One, two in the game for Simon Whitlock. Brilliant. But that double 14 and the way he's hitting it four times out of four to start the leg in this tournament in particular makes him very very dangerous Mentor Solivic triple 18 57 only 57 Mentor effectively taking the darts in a minute or so could be wrapping his first set up will he stay there because of 60 will he 158 55. Let me see. Look at that. That's Peter Manley esque. 48. Maybe an orthodox for Mentor Solovich, but it's effective for the Austrian. Now, UK Open and World Match Play quarter finalist in the last 12 months in a good bit of form. Needed a travel and got it. Can he just sneak another one in there to put pressure on Whitlock? One on. Quite has to settle for the turn, but Whitlock not on a finish here. Yeah, when Mensah first burst on the scene and beat James Wade in the World Championships 2010, we're thinking, what an upset. 98. Well, he keeps creating them. They're, they're no longer upsets, are they? He just keeps beating the world's best. World ranked 28, but that won't be for long if he can continue this this week and on to the others. Six. Of course he's going for a ten. Oh, oh look what he wants, yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? It really is. That is the first set wrapped up by Mentor Sulevic. He's double 14 hit him was more or less faultless. Simon Whitlock has actually succumbed to it. The big Austrian is 1-0 up and it's race to three.